Hi guys, um, so I just watched The Eagle, starring Channing Tatum and Jamie Bell uh, from my previous update. And uh, before I start, I want to just say uh, I got this for six pound, and a guy on my the the video I uploaded just said that um, blues are going down a lot, and I have actually realised from when they were about twenty four quid for a single Blu-ray, you can now get about four for twenty four quid, and um, I reckon one day Blu-rays will be about a pound. Uh, I know they do it in America sometimes, like a pound a Blu-ray, but really Blu-rays are actually coming down in prices if you think about it. Like even in H and V, which is usually like the most expensive store for Blu-rays, games, CDs, DVDs, whatever, uh, you know they are usually really really pricey. But uh, yeah, especially like uh, second-hand shops like Kex and GameStar, uh, cash converters, Money Go Round, and all that. You know they are really really uh, cheap prices. So anyway, uh, here's the front, the side, the back. So essentially I saved myself about, this was about half price, if you would call it that, about £6 I saved myself from the original price. Just wait a little bit, get 6 quid off, buy another Blu-ray. Uh, and then there's two discs, a Blu-ray and digital copy. I don't want to sound uh, like tight or anything or like cheap, but I'm just saying like, if you want a good bargain and you want uh, something worth your money, you know, might as well do that deal. Anyway, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this film, uh, really, really good. The pitch quality on this was pretty freaking immense. Uh, it was basically set in like England and Scotland, barbaric, barbaric uh, Scotland, and like Roman legionnaire England, like Hadrian's Wall and all that. Uh, 120 AD kind of set century time. Uh, Channing Tatum plays the um, son of like a Roman general who was like the captain or the general of the uh, of this kind of clan of Roman uh, soldiers and they had the Eagle of the Ninth and he lost it and they all just really don't like his son because he's like trying to become a general now um, and then in a battle his son played by Channing Tatum like gets injured and apparently he gets an horrible discharge which means he can't really fight anymore but he want, but basically he gets a slave played by Jamie Bell there who's a great uh, young actor played by Billy Elliot, Tintin and all that a jumper and pretty much just uh, go off on a quest to find the Eagle of the Night to get his trust back. And they're just like chased all by these barbaric Scotland. And it's just really, 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 really good action. <coughs> Adventure. Donald Sutherland is in this for a bit, uh, as you can see in there. Uh, you've got all the Roman uh, generals. And then Mark Strong is in this for a couple of scenes. He's pretty good. Um, there's these weird guys who have all this like grey mud all over their face in like Scotland and yeah it's kind of weird but they, they pretty much chase them like through half the film so the first half is pretty much Channing Tatum, the Jamie Bell character doesn't come in until like 25 minutes into the movie um, Channing Tatum, the basic first part of him is he is kind of uh, the, the kind of general and he, he has to help out his army and then the second part is him going to try and find the legion, the eagle, the eagle of the ninth uh, legionnaire so yeah, really, really enjoyed this movie. Uh, watched some of the extras, actually. I watched the alternate ending. I can see why they didn't use it, because it was pretty stupid. Um, if I would say, because, you know... Um, I'm not going to try and put spoilers, but basically the alternate ending was... Um, I think... I, I can't remember. It was um, that they put the... That they went searching all through, like, weeks and months of searching for, like, the, the gold um, eagle of the ninth. And then he was just going to lay it on like a Mark Strong um, and leave it there and say, oh, this is, this doesn't belong to Rome. This belongs um, to, I'm trying because he speaks in an American accent, which is pretty stupid for a Roman kind of Italian person. Uh, he says, this is for uh, the people who died fighting for it. And then uh, I was like, what, so you're saying that when you just, when they're, um, when you've just spent like months and months and almost like died trying to find like a piece of metal which in them days would be a lot because you know it's like 120 AD um, but yeah pretty much and that was just pretty stupid but uh, got a really good documentaries feature commentary Eagle 45 minute documentary which is pretty much enough the Eagle making of a Roman epic BD Live Pocket Blue uh, you can use your smartphone to control Blu-ray features stream content and communicate with ease and obviously BD Live which you probably know what that is um, yeah, really, really enjoyed this one. I'll give it about an 8 out of 10. This is going to be a Blu-ray, more of a Blu-ray review. Um, just a Blu-ray slash movie review. Really, really like this one, though, guys. If you're into, like, your Roman epics, like Gladiator, Troy, uh, Kingdom of Heaven, stuff like that, 
watch it because it is really, really worth it. Uh, the Eagle, I give it about an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.